Hello guys. everybody and welcome to, we've got a Bretonians coached by Knolysius and Velahopia with Pro Elves. So there you go. In the booth is Muffet Pac-Man and Purple Chest. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, what a lovely little squad of Bretonians we see before us today. It's quite a good Bretonian team, isn't it? I don't know the coach. Um, but, yeah, he's got a move 8, edge 4, blood sure hands, he's got a pommer with jump up and tackle, yep. he's got a blood kick leader, a blood, a blood step frenzy, like, you know, pretty decent, pretty decent blitzers. Yeah, lots, lots of toys, lots of things you think they can do, and yet fundamentally, you know, and against the Pro Elf team that again, a few nice toys, but nothing that really looks exceptional, or game-breakingly good. Um, so yeah, the Bretonians probably one of the things they would rather face at times as elves. They have a good tool set against some elf teams. Weirdly also against the very strong teams. It tends to be some of the more intermediates they struggle with a bit. Um, and yet fundamentally I look at this and I think the pro-elves are going to win because Bretonians, despite this being a very well-built Bretonian team, clearly coached very well. They're still shit though, aren't they, Jim? Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. They are shit. All anyone can hope is that the Burts take someone down with them with this tackle pun. <laughs> and the DP. And the DP, yeah. But he's only got he's only got three uh he's only got three blockers and only two of them have got guards, so he's he's a big yeah. guard light. Yeah, I mean very guard light for how you'd expect a Bretonian team of this size to look. Um but like I said, he has got some interesting toys. There are some things there that you can see getting some work done against these pro elves, but they won't because they're Bretonians. Yeah. And Ve I mean, Vela Hoppy is great as well, isn't it? I think he's won it twice. I think he's won CCL twice. So, I don't know. I know he diced me in the final one time. <laughs> <laughs> you never there forget are, the name now. The ball running bravely away there. Yeah, two, two, two times he's won, so... You know. So once may have been fairly, and the other time he diced you. Yeah. <laughs> In the most disgusting match of all time. No, to be fair, he had he had Norse, so you know you can barely call it a dicing, can you? Yeah, that, that seems a lot Norse to you then. <laughs> yeah. Just standard, really. So if you played against Jim with Norse and won, who would have known? You can be my wingman anytime. Quite a large club he joined there. To be fair, but... <laughs> oh, glorious Elliot with a massive raid! What an absolute bad ass. And, uh, Pierre the Abusive has just been knocked off the field. Yes, but he used his apple, he's power apple it. And isn't that just typical of what happens? You know, you blitz some guy with your tackle pommer, do nothing to him, he hits you back and then it removes you. you know, and so I was going to say, you bang out an abuser, you've got him to rights, and yet, you know, you come back to work the next day and he's still there. That's <laughs> from the other team's perspective. That's true. Oh, Very dear. much a sort of government investigation into uh, Pierre the Abuser there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But Sorry, there was, Elliot. There's no second apple there, was there? That's the apple gun. Yeah, that was the apple gun. That is. Siphony. <laughs> I can only apologise to Elliot viewers for leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I did forget that Elliot people had just come over, sorry. Um, yeah, Rowdy, it's nice here. We're nice people. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Try not to, but you know, don't be too upset that you've been raided, <laughs> that we've been raided instead of... Uh, <laughs> Chicken for dinner. <laughs> that was, he just, he's just cast a guy there, though. He has, yeah. Yeah, he got him back. Is used, yeah. I'm a little confused why he's pushing way down the side of the field aggressively exactly opposite to where the ball is but yeah, perhaps it'll be made clear to me later it's so we can uh, get injured it's so get cast there by non mighty blow not no mighty blow at all of course on this prior yeah team. these things can happen um yeah it's, it's always these games where you expect them to be very pushy and positional where suddenly one of the teams can get deleted isn't it <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah the yeah, ball the... is here there's and... not many doubles on this team they've got no, no guard. And the, and the stats are only plus edge and this plus move. So yeah, it's weird, weird team, isn't it? Very bare bones. Very, but... very bare bones. But head's very efficient as well. 
these are not two heavyweights. This is very much a cruiserweight sort of uh, bout here. And I think the Brett's still got the uh, inducements there to bribe. Yeah, they, yeah, they've got a bribe. Um, <laughs> dub schools as well. It's got to well, be frustrating. It's only this, this, yeah, this move down the side. He seems to be leaning in, isn't he? Is he going to come around and bother the rear of the ball? Yeah, I don't like. It's leaving huge amounts of space upfield, just uncontested. And his whole team is splitting off. Yeah, he had to blitz this guy to reconnect, or he had to blitz this guy to like get yeah, in front, didn't he? Exactly. Yeah, the one that it helps him get in front. I liked. I know it meant some people would have to have come back round the long way from where they'd got to, but yeah, one of I those. I just thought two. that first turn was was strange. Like he didn't know where the ball was. <laughs> yeah. We're no. going to get uh, the Brits on one side of the pitch and the Elves on the other side. <laughs> yeah, they basically swapped. It is. It's going to be like a 13-year-old disco, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're probably not like that anymore, but they were 30-odd years ago when I was in a 13-year-old disco. <laughs> on one side of the room and all the girls on the other side of the room. Yeah, but you can still make removals anywhere, anywhere on the field, Russell Storm, so you have to get back, right? You've got to get back. It's much harder for the elves if they're stalling here and then have to go forward rather than just letting them stall here <laughs> in your, in your half with yeah. nobody in front of them. I mean, the Brits are quick enough that you're not going to reverse the field here, which is where you get your entire team behind the other team. And suddenly you're defending. They're pushing back towards their own touchdown line and you're defending the step over score. It's not going to be quite that bad, although you could still get that way. I mean, with the removals he's making... <laughs> get that bird. Yeah, yeah, and this is the danger. This is why, of course, you did want to hit that guy who was further behind because now you've screened yeah. off your entire now team. Now you're cut off. Exactly. And that was so predictable, Jim. Yeah. Although, uh... I mean, you know, it is easy to be wise watching this back. Um, it, just because you pick the right target doesn't mean it will work, doesn't mean that me or Jim would be winning this game. But we've got a much better chance that we'd have some elves back in front of this drive now. Uh, and as it is, that drive's just gone. And it, it's going wherever it wants next turn. Yeah. To be fair, all the removals have been on good elf pieces and not just the shitters. Yes. That's true, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he, like, pulling himself out of position like this has got... has made him cast two good elves. But exactly, he exposed all of his elves by thinning his, his line out on the very first turn and pushing too many down a flank towards God knows what. I think the Bretts have just given up the score here. There's like no way. Yeah, so some try. of this is unfortunately very self-induced. Yeah. Oh, it's the power. Of course we have tackle, but still, gets the power is nice, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Nice we don't mess around with all these pushes and things. They do dark and good mood, don't they? Hmm. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You know, I'm not sure about that. I would have liked this guy to have been a bit deeper, so that this yeah, me too. In case any of these fail, but he's not failing anything, so that's going to be helpful. Well, more in case oh. this succeeded, right? So that this this guy, yeah, okay, he's going to keep him there because you want him to only be able to hit the loners, don't you? So I would have yes, yeah, swap that, that guy for the loner, and that guy would be up the pitch more with the team. Yeah, I really wanted to make sure this guy can only hit loners, and now he's going to be able to hit not a loner. Yeah, but you're right. He's not going to blitz Wait, with him. Wait, what? What? He's going to jump up and everything. He can get there. Mm. That's... Well, he's trying to build an element of surprise when he does. Oh, no, he's <laughs> creeping him in there anyway afterwards. <laughs> That's contempt. That is contempt for you, Jim. <laughs> That's him surprise. saying, I could have done it with this piece. I chose not to. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> no surprise when he finally cares about the ball. <laughs> Amazing. It's a foul in here, doesn't he? Yeah, this is a foul. I, to, I knew he'd do it because it was a shit player with only two assists. <laughs> <laughs> Kaz is him, though. Bribe gone. Will it succeed? Uh, it it kind of matters as well because he's losing players himself. Ooh, Ooh. it fails! Yeah, he's down three players. Yeah, that's pretty big. He only yeah. had 12. I did not like fouling that guy, you know, when you can foul good elves. Like, okay, it's harder to get the hits yeah. on the good elves. 
But Although you can just play the numbers stats. game here, Jim. We've seen that work before. Yeah. Recent Chalice winner, he just played the numbers game. I mean, not yeah. just played the numbers game, but certainly did. You know, first half, that was the priority every game. Yeah. Um, and it paid off. Yeah. And I did say that sometimes these ones that look terribly pushy because AV7 exists, you know, one of the teams just gets deleted, and that can be game deciding, of course. Usually mm -hmm. better to have a plant that doesn't revolve around that, I find. Yeah, and, that, and that's the thing, you know, like, uh, Ducky especially, I always remember the Ducky game where um, he just he just went to town fouling, and it, it's fair enough, you know, it, it worked. Isn't that it, every I'm, Ducky game? No, no, there was one specific <laughs> one. Um, there was one specifically where he was playing Skaven and I felt the you know the Skaven really only had one shot. And that was with uh, you know, two or three decent gutters. And I would have just saved my dirty player to foul those. Because I, I would have felt like that was the only way they could have done anything, you know, in the game. Yeah. Whereas Ducky instead just used his uh, used his dirty player liberally on line rats and uh, you know, got ahead and made it uh, made it. I mean, that is the other way. If you wipe out the whole nest, then there's nothing they can do. You know, if they've got two rats, it's very hard to feed a natty. Ooh, is this a double one? Yeah, this is risky now. He went for the stall. Very risky. Yeah, that, that was a big dodge at the end of the turn, wasn't it, from the Sag 4? It really so was, yeah. Now, yep, he can get this guy around. I could say there's a huge him. risk now. Yep. He needs to be careful not to block his own pathway. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not it's a long, a long way from Sir, but... Gets the pow. Massive pow, that, wasn't it? Push was not good. Yeah. Either. Oh, God, it switched. Oh. Yeah, pushes this did. one. There we go. Door is open. And there it is. Peace is clear. He is sidestep, though, so there's no surf, but still a hit on the ball. You yep. can get two one dice, that isn't bad, he's got frenzy. Yeah. Just feels Ooh, but he did oh. this instead. Yeah. What? He wanted the two dice, I guess? Wanted two dice. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, like. I guess it's fair enough, right? It's one in nine to fail. It's better than a one in six if you punch, but. I didn't, I didn't really like that. I, he could have hit with a wrestle, couldn't he? He could have hit with a wrestle. I would have rather. Uh, I think the wrestle maybe had too far to go. I don't remember where he was. He's only moving six. Yeah, but I think I think he should have done the surf with his frenzy guy and then hit the ball with wrestle just for the extra chance of knocking it loose. Uh, that guy's got a size that you can't surf. No, no, the other guy, the other guy who was in there. There was a guy that he could have surfed, but he didn't. Okay. <laughs> With friends. Uh, I, I, I didn't mind the uh, one dice with the frenzy guy because it was still technically two dice, sort of. Yeah, sort of. And he had the reroll for it. But Velohopia gets away with the, the kind of crucial double ones. And there's nine Bretts versus eight Pro Elves at the moment. Oh, there you go, Ducky's in chat. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Ducky. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not that you know. It's, yep. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you were right and I was wrong, or I was right and you were wrong. It was just interesting that, like, you know, that you would make that call. Two good players I, having two different uh, approaches to the same game. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Not that I'd say I'm as good as Ducky, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so this is free side step on line. No uh, one turn. No. Uh, still technically possible, but very unlikely. Well, <laughs> there's no weep. We can't weep behind. Um, I guess. The players we've had to commit there's to move this here. Line. There's frenzy. You could have I guess there's a quick could snap. You could. Could have run round. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI punch. Oh, okay. GFI again punch. That gets one push. And then you push him for another one, and then push him for another one. So you could probably do it, but it would take a lot of dice. Can't do it with a pitch um. invasion. <laughs> that would have made it super easy if he'd gone this side to blitz this guy. <laughs> that would have been amazing. He should have known, Jim. He should have known. 
With eight players, it probably, it's probably not possible yeah. that way. It was very difficult. Beat on the board. Um. <laughs> yeah, Mario, I'm just surprised. I, was, I found it interesting that he chose to go for the steamroll when I already felt he was already favoured and didn't need to go for the steamroll. That was the thing, right? Because, like, Chunter against Andre had to go for the steamroll because yep. he's not going to win by playing smart <laughs> and safe. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> One KO from the birds, still down quite a few players, but so is the Brits. Oh, was it? Was that CCL1? Oh, well, there you go. Well, thanks, Ducky. <sighs> but, um. Yeah, just, just. Who knows, isn't it? Probably not. But it's still nice to say, isn't it? It's still nice to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, one game from season one you remember, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ducky, Ducky angling for that JFW run. <laughs> <laughs> CCL1 is a long time ago. Yeah, but I, I did think, because it was, you know, it was interesting, because obviously I already knew Ducky was good then, didn't I, you know? And, uh, and I just found it interesting, and then I just remember that. Yeah, I do just remember that game. There you go. I remember other games as well, but very few. <laughs> so, what's better here for the Brits? Do you go for the 2-1 or do you hope you win overtime toss? You just hope you win overtime toss. That's all you can do, isn't it? Because against elves, mm. you literally yeah, if you can't give stop them, elves. If you give them two turns and they've got six elves, they'll score. Mm. So, you need to kill all the elves. Yep. Oh, Doesn't look like killing girls to me. I wish I'd commentated that and put it on my YouTube stream. That was an amazing game, yeah. Well, I might have commented on it, right? No, I can't remember if I commented on it or not. I remember watching it. I didn't know if I did the commentary. But, uh. What did Space Cadet win a chalice? <laughs> no, no, he played a game in the chalice. Okay. <laughs> That's a more sane thing to understand in here. <laughs> he keeps going after these fucking sidesteppers, doesn't he? What yeah, the fuck, I mean, man? perhaps he considers oh, them. Oh, really and agreed on it. Yeah. Perhaps he considers them really key to winning. I don't. Like, why not just punch people how. that you can push away and not give up hits again? Well, just punch the defenseless people when you have what? Yeah. That's one extra dice. Oh, and of course, IG Man comes in. Well, he just goes yeah. instantly in for the one day without six. Of course, yeah. he's got wrestle and tackle. He can do what he wants. Into four tackle zones as if they're not there. <laughs> because we have sure hands, BC. We're fine. That's ridiculous. I mean, Edge 5 and Leap would have done the same, obviously, but still. In fact. Arguably. You don't even need leap. You've got edge six. <laughs> I know, but edge five. He could have just taken leap instead of the edge six, couldn't he? But um, yeah, I guess. it's fun to. It's edge six is fun. Oh, so you get free reroll on the dodge because he already had dodge. Yeah, but it was a four plus dodge, so. So it was actually a one in four fail. Yeah, so it's just it was just worse than an edge five leap, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, a lot worse. <laughs> But I'd had an edge six. Uh, I had an edge six wood elf line, on it, and it was it was just amazing. It was like it was edge, so much fun. I had an edge six that started out as a high elf thrower. Um, it, it didn't really ever throw the ball at that point. It just did ridiculous eg six stuff. Yeah. yeah, I did quite well in a in a major and fumble with it because like my team was you know tiny and terrible. But the edge six was just like every game was just like fireball, well not fireball, lightning bolt. <laughs> edge six goes re once, picks it up, dodges out, passes it, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Win. Yeah, it's it is that simple. <laughs> you could what? You could have sidestepped down for a one deck. Yeah. What the hell? Mm. Now we got power. Poor directional control there. Yeah, maybe he ran out of time. Maybe he was AFK and just like. Just came back. 
Yeah, it's hard to know watching at this breakneck speed. But I love it. Mm. It is nice. Yeah, we're fouling the important player. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the Bretonian coach is following his customary defence of not getting, <laughs> not getting in front of the ball whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. It's something that's not going to work. I hope. <laughs> I don't know, if I believe the, I, the irony in our voices. This is not. This doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, it didn't work in the first half, and it's absolutely not going to work this half either. Look. So we score as the pros, and then we don't care because we we want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, seem, seemingly neither does the Bretonians much. <laughs> <laughs> You sort of get the feeling everyone was happy. You know, yeah. I've had a nice day out. <laughs> Been nice for the fans to get out of the house, can't watch this spectacle. The game goes to the goes for the toughest players for this. <laughs> oh, he's gonna foul. He's gonna foul this at six, though. Boy, howdy. I mean, this even if the pros earn, it could be a deadly game of losing players. No, oh, yeah, this could this could this really screw. Very away, much this. the spike foul. If you already had two runners, this team could get even smaller. <laughs> Squirrel! Found the first one up the entire time. <laughs> that would explain it more, wouldn't it? If the first one won the up and they were playing like that. Yeah, except it turns out they weren't. They were just losing. Yeah. Right, I've, uh, I've got some dinner imminently arriving, so uh, and then on 7 o'clock over on uh, K-Folk's channel we're doing the uh, draw for the TSD. Who gets what mm. randomly allocated race for that lovely format. So I'm going to nip off and have me dins. Um, right. Thrilling as I'm sure the last two turns of this will be, I'm going to somehow restrain myself. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Do you Thanks think the best having me on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Glorious. I, it wouldn't amaze me. Pac-Man, it wouldn't amaze me. Uh, I'd be... Stunt, there just isn't any possibility. But of course, it could happen. Good luck. <laughs> nah, we're just being a bit harsh, like, you know, just to be funny and that, isn't it? You know, it, was, it was probably method behind his madness. <laughs> we, we can't see if he was running out of time these turns and. Yeah, you know, it could have been, could have been, uh, chap, you know, playoff nerves, isn't it? <laughs> Meth uh, behind his madness. <laughs> he's, still some people get them. he's still relentlessly going for the blood steppers. <laughs> <laughs> they must die, Jim. There's got to be a way to kill them. <laughs> I don't you hate when you keep the ball in the middle and it still somehow gets a touch back. You're like, yeah. what else could I have done? I do hate that, yeah. Oh, no, we could go round and hit the uh, edge. Oh. oh, I like that more than what he's been doing. Yeah, double G if I had to hit the edge. Why not? He's the only piece that's going to cause you trouble, so go for it. Yeah, that's a very good point, Ducky. Oh, baby, oh, baby, you got him. Exactly, Bob skills, yeah. And not everyone's. I mean, even if people are good enough to qualify on one run every time, they're just not going to get the dice every time, are they? So. Yeah, pretty much no one can guarantee qualifying off 40 hours. So. Well, this was my favourite turn from the Brett coach. Yes. Yeah, me too. Um, I think instead of taking all these blocks, he could have took those two and then got that lineman free. Yes, yeah, he could have done. I mean, I think the players probably don't care and probably just let him score anyway. Playoffs. Indeed, in Velocet. Um, it's like playoffs. After this, like the CCL League. 
and then after it's finished, there's playoffs of, uh, of like playoffs. <laughs> yes. You know, like playoffs. Play playoffs happen. Playoffs. Um, People play and they get off. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. That's probably the best thing. I think he's just gonna go to the front and finish the screen. Um, yeah, so like you know, the best X, the best, the best sixty-four-ish people qualify for the uh, qualify for playoffs. In my humble playoffs opinion, every one of the best commentators. Yeah, yeah. the Ever L's are the L's, the L's are getting in the way. This isn't nice, is it? Why are they doing this? This just isn't cricket. <laughs> they should let me score so I can give them the ball. And now that Brett's like now going for the blood step was fair. No, he's wait, okay, what? What? I didn't think it's him with a pom. Jump up. Who? Is he gonna frenzy? Is he gonna frenzy? Yeah. Oh, that seems terrible because he looks sidestep to here, won't he? And then sidestep in front of him. Yeah. He needs a pal. Yeah. So he goes here. Okay. Yeah. Even there. That's even better. And then goes back to here. <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're on tackle. <laughs> 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 but we get to foul, Jim. We get to foul. <laughs> Only kills him. Didn't go to the sage school of fouls. <laughs> no guard at all. It's just horrible for Veli, isn't it? He doesn't need it here. But still, it's so horrible. Maybe some of these birds uh, needed guard instead of whatever the skills they got. Well, it's hard though, isn't it? It's hard. The, the birds have only got a pommer and then two guards. Like, they, they took about as much as you, you could get. I guess his, his blockers died. I don't know what the previous game was in the cup. Maybe they died even then, you know? But yeah, Owls without guard can get in problems. Can find themselves in a lot of problems. And, uh, yeah, they start having to base more and then... And just, and just can't crack certain formations or players or whatever. Oh, and there you go, basing more. He's Kaz. What is it? I'd be hurt, look a dog. That's like his second best place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's really only got two good players and then a load of crappy elves. It's really testament to Vela Hoppia that he's uh, he's in the round of 32 and probably in the round of 16. We've got the touchdown though as the birds. We, yep. were, we made it. And the birds are in. They've got two turns to turn him over and make it 2-2. Two -two. Go on for the and then, Desmond. And then have to win the toss. <laughs> yes. So even if they did score... In two turns, they still have to get with. Yes, I mean they're not going to score in two turns on defense, but if they do, <laughs> I believe Jim, and I know I shouldn't because I saw the uh, outcome of the game before you started it, but I still believe. <laughs> yeah. Never watch the vod ever. <laughs> <laughs> Desmond 2 2, the Cloaca legend. Absolutely HTK. <laughs> Cloaca. <laughs> do you just stack with the elves or do you go for the third touchdown? Just, just run away. Because it takes them a turn to come and get you. And then a turn to do something and they just can't do it because you can just have a completely. I guess you've only got to worry about. You're set up against. Perfect defense or blitz. Yeah. It's all you set up against and then just run, up, run away. Put him somewhere. I would put him on his own over here so that if he gets a blitz, he'll definitely punch him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other four somewhere around. I don't know why he's basing it though with the. Uh... Blitz! Oh, there is a blitz! Holy shit! Oh my god! He's oh my there. god! What could happen? <laughs> Holy shit! 
<laughs> All right, well, it's not over. He didn't See, cover believe, against the blitz. Jim. I believe. Didn't cover against the blitz. Holy moly. He did have kick as well. He... Oh, wow. He used kick. Oh my god. <laughs> watch, watch him fail the catch. It's He's fucking weird. hitting this guy again. Use his last round. <laughs> <laughs> no matter where you put him, you'll hit him. <laughs> oh man, that's too good. <laughs> so watch him fail the catch. It will scatter to the gown at the end and it will scatter out. Oh, no, he's, he's got it, Bolt. <laughs> uh, the edge six stayed out, so there's no edge six shenanigans. No, yeah, this is tricky. <laughs> that was too funny. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, he's coming in for the hit! Skulls gets the push! And now he's thinking this. Now, now you know the Brett coach is thinking this fucking Zyster off hit him all game! <laughs> Why is he not fucking dead? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, is he? Should have moved this guy for I guess. No, I, I knew won't this would fucking me. happen! Until I'm victorious. <laughs> And I will oh, defend. Yeah. I will defend. Imagine if he hadn't spunked away his reroll. <laughs> yeah, he should have taken that double school. Glorious. No, yeah, I, I won't give done. in. No, until glorious. I'm victorious. And I will defend. Oh, wow, five. I will defend. Five gift subs. Thank you very much, Mr. Yemender. True hero. Glorious. Glorious. No, I won't <laughs> give in. <laughs> until I'm victorious. And I will defend. He's running, I will the, other defend. Way. He's running the other way with the ball. <laughs> Does he know he has two turns to score? No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. We didn't even move I will defend. anyone up to score for it. <laughs> Glorious. Oh. No, I won't give in well, thank you until very much, I'm Mr. victorious. Yemen, that's and I will defend. I will defend. That's very kind of you. <laughs> You're a nice man. I'm, I am very poor, so it's very nice of you. To support the poor. Wow. <laughs> oh, he uses his last reroll to get the knockdown. That's just cheating. I mean, he could have just hit the... Uh, the, he could have hit the, the, the yeah, he could have just hit the one guy who could score. Oh, he couldn't. That's why he's out of range of getting hit. That was I didn't even see him. And this guy's out already. Okay. So yeah, he literally couldn't be done. Alright, it's this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then long vomit to him, maybe. Let's go champ. Oh, dub skulls. <laughs> oh, dub skull first hit. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, to be fair, he's had the the birds have had some bad dice. But I mean, that they've was had funny, the worst dice, but they must had the worst decisions. I would say. Yeah, that was that was, didn't like is is. I mean, I would have blitzed the guy who was in the way and gone with the edge four under the ball, you know, and yeah. I think that was the play, and then get the edge four under the ball, and then you've got it in the hands of your best player, and you can go and try and do something. For a more. moment. And Instead, even if we got a play that could only have been dead. conceived by a potato. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you were talked over a bit there by Moradam. Uh, Moradam's text-to-speech. Thank you, Moradam. But, yeah, that was that was quite funny. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Um, commiserations, Burtman. Uh, I, can't, <laughs> I can't remember his name. Knolios. I can't remember his name, but I don't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah, Nollyos or something like that. But um, yeah, you know, congrats, congrats to Vela Hoppia. Um, Good luck with that team, really. It's not very uh, big or strong, but yeah. it's got edge six. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Muppet, for the core cast. No problem. And thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.